All right, good morning. My name is Miss Ford. I am a third grade teacher over here at Laburnum Elementary School. And today, my students will be doing a lesson on place value. Are you guys ready? Yeah! All right, before we get started, we're gonna go over our learning target and our success criteria. Someone tell me, what is the purpose of a learning target? Why do we have a learning target up there? Yes, Kendrick. Right, so you'll know what we are doing. Excellent. What is the purpose of our success criteria? Why do we have a success criteria, Carlita? To know what we understand. So let's read our learning target together. One, two, three. I can use patterns in the base 10 system to name the place and value of each digit in a six digit number so guys our learning target is telling us we need to name them and we need to place them now our success criteria i know i understand i'll read that part for you guys when i can effectively that means i know that i know use patterns in the basin system to name the place and the value of each digit in a six digit number so the big word that i see right here guys is what understand you got to understand what you're doing because it doesn't make sense if we don't know what we're doing all right all right friends now we are going to move on to our place value brain dump since we are working on place value we're getting ready to dump our brains who can tell me anything that they remember about place value yes all right tens give me another term for that what's another word everybody for tens Say it. Wrong. Excellent. So we got, let's do that in back. We got our tens and we got rods. Excellent. All right, what else have we been talking about? Hundreds. Hundreds. So what's another term for hundreds? Huge. Flats. Good job. Flats. Oh, flats, okay? So we were talking about hundreds. And we at our flat right there. All right, what else have we been talking about? Uh, base 10. Oh, base 10 models, yes. And our base 10 models can be either our thousands cube, our flat as our rod, our units, and our rods. All right, what else have we been talking about? Word All right, word form. Word form is when you just have to spell it out. There you go, word form. All right, what else have we been talking about this week? Um, yes, ma'am. Um, okay, we talked about digits. Ooh. And she said digits means place. I love it. Excellent. Is there anything else we've been talking about this week? Ex what was expanded form when we make it? Bigger. Right, expanded form is when we make it bigger. And remember, expanded form is going to have a plus. You're kind of making it bigger, 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 bigger. Yes. Anything else we've been talking about? Okay, so what is that called? When you just write the number out, friends, that's called what, everybody? Standard form. Good job. And you are correct when you just write the number out. Is there anything else? Our brain looks amazing so far. Oh, you oh, I forgot units, you're right. All right, so we got our units. And our units is worth how much? One. Excellent. Yes, ma'am. Our cubes? Okay, so our cubes, you're right. And how much is our cubes worth? A thousand. Yes. Cubes, and I'm gonna put TH for thousands. Excellent. I think we got one more hand. Uh, six digit. Ooh, why do we have six lines? Talk to me. Go ahead. One for each, for each digit. Excellent. And yes, we do go all the way to hundred thousands in third grade. Guys, that's amazing. Kiss your brain. You help fill our brain. Now you kiss your brain again. Kiss one more time. Amazing, amazing. All right, now at this time, we're going to play mystery number. Yeah. All right, so what do I want you guys to do on your desk? Why am I drawing six lines? So, because for each 
each number. Right, for each digit, okay. So draw my six lines on your desk. And Ms. Ford is going to draw it on her board as well. All right, give me a thumbs up when you have your six lines drawn on your desk. And I love how people are labeling those. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love what I see. I love what I see. I love what I see. I love it. I love it. All right, help Miss Fora label it, and then we'll start our mystery number game. Over here, we have the what, everybody? Nine. Excellent. Then we have our? Ten. Beautiful. Then we have our? Hundreds. Hundreds. Then we have our? Thousands. There we go. Then we have our? Ten thousand. Hold up. Hold tight. Y'all got it? All right, then we have our? Hundred thousand. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is how your desk should be set up. All right, here we go. Put a one, put a one in the tens spot. Put a one in the, good job, in the tens spot. Or the tens place, good job. Put a five in the hundred thousands place. The hundred thousands place. Put a four in the ones place. Put a four in the ones place. Put a six in the hundreds spot. Put a six in the hundreds place. Put a nine in the ten thousands place. And last but not least, put a three in the thousands place. Put a three in the thousands place. Oh man, oh man, oh man, this looks good. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so what number should be in my hundred thousand spot? Beautiful. What about in my ten thousand? Nine. What about in my thousand? Three. What about in my hundred? Six. What about in my tens? One. And what about in my ones? Four. Beautiful. If yours looks like mine, give me a thumbs up. Now, this is in standard form. So all we did right here, guys, we just wrote the number. That's what standard form is, writing the number. Now I need your help reading the number. 593,614. Good job, good job, excellent. All right, on your desk, now we just said mystery number. Now we're gonna play really quickly, guess my number, okay? So we're gonna play guess my number. If you want to erase your digits that you already have, you may erase them. And if you want to just keep your chart, that's totally fine. Because some friends want to keep their chart to help them understand where each digit go. I'll leave it up to you. All right, let's see, are we ready? Yeah. All right, sounds good. All right, here we go. So with your marker, you're gonna write down the number in standard form, that means just write down the number that Ms. Ford reads to you. Okay, 25,000, 25,000, 285, 25,000, 25,000, 385. All right, let's see if yours looks like Miss Ford's. Let me clear my board really quickly. Draw my six lines again. Okay, Miss Ford said 25,000. Hmm. Is there, should there be any number in our hundred thousand spot? Yes. 
No. No. 20? Five. Yes. I already got my comma. That's that yeah. All right. Then I set 385. So right here I should have a three. Right here I should have a eight. And a five. All right. How many of you guys got that? Amazing. Good job, good job, good job. Y'all want to do one more? Yes. All right, let's do one more so we can get into our stations for today. All right, we're going to do one more. We're going to do one more. I'm going to try to trick you, but I know y'all so smart. Y'all might even get me. But I'm going to try to trick you. Thank you. I see some people still writing their um, six lines. That's amazing. If you need it, write them. Miss Four likes to always has her, has, have hers up there as well. All right, here we go. 106,000. 106,000. 106,000. Looks good. Looks good. Good job. 106,000. All right, hold tight. I'm going to read the rest. All right. Good job. I'll tell you. All right, you ready for the next part? Yeah. 411. 106,411. Put 11. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Good job, man. All right. So Miss Ford is going to get ready and write it on the board. And let's see if I'm smarter than you guys. Y'all might be smarter than me, but we're going to do this together. All right. Here we go. So Miss Ford said 106,000. We got our one. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Then I said 411. All right. All right, so before we move into our stations, let's review. What is this, friends? A cube. A cube. How much is this cube worth? A thousand. A thousand. Then we have our? Flat. Our flat. How much is this flat worth? Ten. Our flat is a hundred. Then we have our? Five. And this is worth? Ten. Then we have our? This is worth one. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna show, let me just see. Let me see how smart you are, because you're real smart. You're real smart. How many rods do I need to make this hundred? How many rods do I need to make this hundred? Oh, he said ten. If you agree, show me that you agree. All right, let's count by tens. Ten. 100. Excellent. How many, how many flats do I need to make this cube? Y'all told me this was a thousand. So how many flats do I need to make this cube? Ten. Oh, ten. So we're going to count by what? Hundreds. Our hundreds. Good job. Not tens. That was our rods. We're going to count by hundreds. Help me out. One hundred. A thousand. Good job. Excellent. Now, if I have my unit, how many units do I need to make this rod? How many units, my ones, my units, do I need Mackenzie to make this rod? Ten. I just need ten. How many units do I need to make this hundred? How many units do I need to make this hundred? Siani? Ten. Ten? These are, this is a one, and this is a, a ride. I need a hundred. Excellent. How many units do I need to make this thousand? How many units do I need to make this thousand? I need a thousand. Excellent, excellent, excellent. You guys, you're, you're amazing. So our math centers, our math stations, one group is going to be doing roll the die, and you're going to be making a four-digit number at your seat with a die. 
And we're saying die because it's one. We're not giving you dice. Dice is two, but die is one. And you're going to roll that number. You're going to write it in standard form. And then you're going to write it in expanded form. Okay? One group will be doing a four block where you have the number in standard form. And you guys are going to write it in expanded form and word form. And the last group, you're going to be playing shake and read place value bean game. Each of you in that group will get a cup of beans. You get to shake them up. You're going to pour them out on your desk and make a number in standard form. Are you guys ready? Yes. All right. So go ahead and shake your beans. And then you're going to roll them out on your desk. And I want you guys to, you may have to turn them over. And that's fine. Okay, whatever you have first, you're going to put that number and you guys are going to make me a number. So Jay, which one do you want to do first, baby? Which number you want to, which mean you want to pull first? Five. All right, five. All right, let's go. So put your five. You got a pencil? Okay. Excellent. All right, do the next one. Which bean you want to do next? All right, so put your one. All right, do the next one. Okay. You're welcome. All right, come on, come on. You got three more to go. Keep going, making that number. Number, come back and check you guys out. Write the number 751 in each way. All right, I like how you read that to your group. All right, so the first one it says you're going to write it in word form. So we're going to write 751. And you're going to spell it out, 751. Now, what happens if we need help with the spelling of the words? What could we look in our... So if you want to look in your notebook, that's an amazing um, strategy to use. Four. I got a five. Thirty-four thousand. Beautiful. Five hundred sixty. Beautiful. Good job. Keep going. You got one. Are oh, you want to read yours to me? That's a four, baby. Four hundred twenty-two thousand. Good. Three hundred. 63. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. All right, let me check this group out. How are we doing over here, friends? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Did you guys understand what you were doing? Give me a thumbs up if you understood what you were doing. Let me kind of look around the room, look around the room. This group, did you guys understand what we were doing? Yeah. If you understood, give me a thumbs up. All right, awesome, awesome. Thank you for joining our third grade classroom today with our lesson on place value. We hope you learned something and enjoyed it.